how she traveled, and her women who made a difference. A cool kid's gift to our community. Old Abuse, New Horizons. Sue Mercer, portrayed by Marissa. Here comes another abused woman. This is probably one of the most difficult things to witness. The tears in her eyes, the scabs and scrapes on her arms and legs, the bruises deep in her skin, and even the expression in her eyes like she hasn't seen the light of day in years. New Horizons is probably one of the most needed buildings in the city. What would our society come to without it? These women desperately need our help. It's about time they're getting it. New Horizons has been open for about two years now. I remember our first house that started in 1978. It was so horrible. There weren't even any washing machines or dryers. I can still vividly recall cleaning other women's laundry at my house and cooking extra food at night with my own dinner just to bring it to them. So many people would say that it was unneeded work, but seeing how grateful they were definitely made everything worthwhile. Yet, sometimes, this place can be so nerve-wracking. Word is starting to get out about the shelter and there's a huge uproar about it. Isn't it enough that we have to be worried about the poor girl's husbands trying to find them without the neighbors getting involved? There was a meeting at the YWCA today and they're all so angry about it when we really need New Horizons here. I mean, they all think it's a great idea, just not in their backyard. They automatically think that it's going to downgrade their property values. I just can't understand people like that. How can you worry about money when we're trying to save lives? Maybe they don't realize how serious a matter this is. Not only women come to us, women who have been beaten and battered, but they come to us with their children. We're not only saving the lives of wives, but we're saving the lives of their innocent children. If they found out a child was coming to us with bruises and cuts that were from his or her father, they'd be completely outraged. The women are just as innocent as these children. Could any of them seriously take a look at a child that was beaten so badly that he or she was almost dead and turn away from them like so many people have? Could they really just ignore it, act as if it didn't happen? No one deserves to be treated that way, but then again, that's why we're here. It would be so much easier if only the neighbors were the most difficult part about this. We try to keep this place as hush-hush as we can, but word still gets out. It seems like every time I make a speech about New Horizons, some men have to become over-the-top angry with me and yell at me, saying that what I'm doing is wrong. Wrong? Giving women a place to get away from being brutally beaten is wrong? In all honesty, though, these are probably the men that are beating their wives. I don't think very many people really know what domestic violence is. That's the purpose of the speeches we give. People need to know that this is a serious thing, and we're going to tell them, whether they like it or not. The more that we say, the more we'll get people to support us. The more that they learn, the more we'll be able to keep women and children safe from their husbands and fathers and back on track to a wonderful life. Helping these women makes absolutely everything worthwhile. If I were in their place, I don't know what I'd do without a shelter like this. I'd be terrified out of my mind, I know that for sure. But where would I turn to? Where would I go? I'd get out of the relationship, but I'd be more frightened than I've ever been in my life. As long as they continue to come to us needing help, we'll always be ready to help them. I know for a fact that New Horizons will be ready for anything that life throws at us, even things we haven't even dreamed of yet. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.